What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Xiaomi Mi Band 6. So this band has been relatively popular, especially the Mi Band 5. This thing's coming at around 60 bucks in the US, but this price will be going down as availability goes up. Let's go ahead and see if it's worth your money. First things first, let's go ahead and get into the specs. Again, in the US, you're gonna see it anywhere in the range from about 56 to $60, counts on the time. And if you wanna get it on like AliExpress or something like that, not really the best way to do it, but you could probably get around 45 bucks, but I really wouldn't trust it too much. This is a newer screen, so it does have a 1.56 AMOLED display that is scratch resistant, and it has 450 nits of brightness, so it is great in sunlight as well. This band does have five atmospheres of water resistance, so you can go swimming with this, and it does track swimming as well. It has 125 milliamp hour battery, which can get anywhere from 10 to 14 days of battery life. If you're turning all of your fitness tracking on, and if you're doing a lot of workouts, especially if you're using the GPS with your phone, you're probably gonna be closer to that 10 day range. The sensors it has on band are an accelerometer, a gyroscope, it does have a heart rate monitor, and also using that as an SpO2 sensor as well to check blood oxygen levels. It does rock Bluetooth 5.0, so the most recent version, so you're not gonna have any troubles with that. It can track 30 different workouts, and six of those workouts it can track automatically. The app is the MeFit app, and you're gonna need Android 5.0 or iOS 10.0 or better. All right, let's go ahead and get into the app and see what it's all about. As you can see, it has everything built right in. It has your PAI score. So this is if you're looking to kind of gamify your fitness experience a little bit. It's your personal activity index. I believe that's what it's called. But it gives you a score to see how active you have been. And you have your stress levels right below that if you want to try to get in some breathing exercise to bring down those stress levels. Especially these days, that's always a good thing to do. And it has your sleep right below that. And if you have your workouts, I did freestyle, I should have probably put hit on, but I put freestyle, your streak of your day, and that's all right there on the status. And if you want to jump into your walking, your running, or your cycling, you can all build that right in there. When you go to your bottom, if you have any friends, that's where that is. And when you go into your profile, so this is where everything is, my B Band 6, I'm going to click on that. You can go into a store, get some extra things. This is where you're gonna actually put in your notifications. So if you want your text messages, your phone calls, and your app alerts, you're gonna need to go through this. Then you have your vibration feature for all that as well. If you, if you wanna get vibration notifications for that. And your health monitoring. It used to do continuous heart rate tracking, but now it's every one minute, or you can get battery battery life by doing it a little bit farther apart. And not only that, you can get into heart rate alerts. So if your heart rate is going over a certain amount, especially those of you who might have some heart issues, this is great and you can actually have it alert you when that heart rate does go up. And then you actually do have to check the active heart rate monitoring if you wanna have your activities tracked automatically. Then also turning on all the sleep stuff as well and the stress monitoring. Again, this will cut away at the battery life a little bit, but it's a fitness band. Let's get everything it can do. Then you go into your band setting as well, what you wanna do with your display and also shortcut settings, what you wanna have built into the band. We'll get into that when we go into the UI. Also what you wanna do with your workout settings, you can add more workouts in on the band. Again, we'll see that in the band what wrist it's on if you want to lock the band, night mode, and band location if it's on the left or the right wrist. And also app settings, I'm not exactly sure what that does, but for some reason I can't really do anything with that. You can also find your band, it does vibrate, it doesn't have any audible tone, but it does vibrate if you were looking for it. You can also make it discoverable, you can actually share your heart rate from, with other people if you would like any pairing restrictions around the background. You see everything right here. And also built in with labs, you can actually use it to do your camera on your phone if you would like. I have used it before and it's pretty neat, but I didn't allow this band to do it. And then other things in there, in your profile, you can set your goals, where your friends are, the store, behavior tag, you can add accounts, feedback, smart analysis, stuff like that, all built in. You got your settings down there as well. If you wanna check out the Imperial units, yes, I'm in the US, we use Imperial, yay, but you can change it right there. So as far as the band itself is concerned and its UI, when you swipe over to the right, this goes through all of your widgets and you can actually do whichever you want. That goes in a loop. And when you swipe down, this is gonna go through a lot of your stuff, your settings, your world clock, your music app. If you wanna check out Alipay, it is right there. 
your weather, alarms, stuff like that, events if you want to put it in, a couple breathing exercises, stress levels, your workout history is built in. And if you want to go into your workouts, it is right here as well. And you can swipe through all of these workouts and you can even hit the more at the bottom to get even better. When you want to go back, it is a swipe to the left as there is no bottom button anymore. Then you have your notifications, your SPO2, where your heart rate is, and your PAI score for the day. So you can even click on that, giving you how well have you been doing with your PAI score. Your status, where your distance and stuff like that is for the day and how you've been through the last couple days. So it really does have a lot built into the app and when you swipe up, it just basically goes through an entire backwards of all of that as well. And when you want to, you can actually take off this band this is replaceable and if you did have the Mi Band 5, it is the same exact band with that. So if you want to use that band, you can. And of course, if you are looking to charge it, you have your charging cable right here. It is magnetic, so it goes on relatively easily. You can keep the band on for that as well, but it swipes right on and only takes about two hours to fully charge. So it's an overall win and this band has got a great display. All right, now let's go ahead and get into its fitness and its sleep tracking first things fitness tracking. One thing I did see when you go into like your freestyle, you can actually go into your heart rate, where that was and what your zones were and that all is tracked right on the band live. Uh, it really counts on the particular workout. This particular workout went a little high on my heart rate, but as an overall average heart rate, it did fairly well. My whoops over here, my knee bands right over here. So you can kind of check the two differences. And then when I go in and when I go back a day, you can see where I did my outdoor running. This is actually where I used my phone with me and it actually tracked me fairly well with my pace. As you can see right here, I did do a one mile run and it got me with my one mile. That's because it's using my phone's GPS and get where your pace was, your cadence and stuff like that. And you can actually check the band to see where your pace is. But it gives a lot of great information. As far as the heart rate is concerned, it tend to go a little bit lower on my heart rate than my whoop strap did but it's fairly accurate so really not that bad so overall as far as this fitness tracking is concerned I consider it a win uh, it's not the absolute best but at this price point you really can't get much better let's go ahead and get into the sleep tracking so it did tend to overshoot my sleep tracking by a little bit so I'm gonna go with today it says I got seven hours and 35 minutes of sleep that did overshoot me by about 30 40 minutes. I think that's mostly due to the fact that I'm laying in bed not doing anything. It is tracking a little bit of that a little bit early uh, and it didn't really track my REM that well but it really tracked my deep sleep pretty well but with the REM it kind of went over to light sleep. And then as you can see you can kind of get your idea. It even tracked my nap throughout that day and which is great and it gives you a breathe quality and really gives you some things you can really work through as far as your sleep tracking is concerned. Since you are gonna be using this for multiple days, 10 days with that battery life, it's great to always have them on your wrist to see how your sleep is. So you can go ahead and improve from there. So you can kind of click on what is what, where you were, and when you awoke and stuff like that, and get a lot of really good actionable data to get better with your sleep. All right, so what are my recommendations? This Mi Band 6 is a very good band, especially for the price point at around 60 bucks. It is a little bit more expensive than the 5. If you already have the 5, I don't think it is gonna be a big upgrade if you upgrade it. But if you had the 4, definitely try to upgrade. And if you have a band that you're not that happy with and you would like to upgrade, the Mi Band 6 would be a great upgrade. Other bands you might wanna see in this price point might be like the Fitbit Inspire or even the Fitbit Inspire 2 if it is on sale. This is gonna be a little bit better with tracking and stuff like that and not only that the Fitbit ecosystem is absolutely awesome the people I really wouldn't want to push it too hard for if you're getting real serious with your fitness tracking again it's not the absolute best when it comes to heart rate tracking again I'd probably push you more towards the Fitbit charge 4 or the charge 3 if you don't need that GPS sensor or even moving up to like a Garmin or something like that that has a better heart rate monitor. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I got two new tech reviews each and every week, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you use my links down below, and a little portion of that will help me grow my channel. But as always guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay
stay positive. I'll see you guys next time.